Just four weeks after England were knocked out of the World Cup, a near capacity crowd at Wembley greets Bobby Moore as he leads his team out against one of the favourites to win the trophy, Italy, who were indeed the runners up in Mexico. Moore tonight captains England for the 90th time and thereby equals the record of Billy Wright. His opposite number, Giacinto Facchetti, to his right, captains Italy for the 47th time. The England team behind Bobby Moore, in the main the tried and trusted. The one exception to that being Peter Osgood, third in line there, who tonight makes his first appearance in an international match at Wembley. So if changes are to be made, they will be made on a basis of success rather than one of failure. The conditions tonight rather more to England's liking. It's pretty mild, but the rain, a fine rain, is quite heavy. Moore in place of Norman Hunter, Osgood for Martin Chivers are the only changes from the team who gave their all against Poland, trying to make up the ground lost earlier in the World Cup. All but Bell and Osgood were in the side beaten 2-0 by Italy last June. Osgood won his last cap as a substitute in the 1970 World Cup and now gets another chance after we've been knocked out of the 1974 tournament. Eight of that Italian team played in the match in Turin. Bellucci and Calcio coming on as substitutes on that occasion. Notable absentees are Mazzola, Anastasi and Morini, all of whom are injured. And there's been quite an argument about the number of substitutes being allowed, but in the end, three from five changed is the ruling of the referee. The team staying as they were in the kick-in. So England in the white shirts attacking the goal to our right. And already the crowd are given plenty of evidence that England will get a lot of support tonight from them. McFarland. Bell. This is the tenth meeting between the two countries. Only the second at Wembley. Kinalia. Shannon. Lugnic, Osgood. Shannon. The first work for Dino Zoff from Mike Shannon. Bell. Shannon in the middle, so is Osgood. A little bit too comfortable for the goalkeeper. Rivera. Curry beating Benetti. And the referee will certainly talk to Capello about that. Over the top of the ball, on the shin. There's Capello. The injured man is Tony Curry. Harold Shepperton, of course, the England trainer. Clark in the middle. Here's Curry. We'll have a crack. And a good one! Side netting though. Curry and a lot of the crowd thought that was in and it deserved to be. It was a very good shot. Right foot, plenty of power. Hit the stanchion at the back but the wrong side of the netting from England's viewpoint. McFarland on the far edge of the six yard box. That's a header by Shannon. Very good clearance by Dino Zoff. Substitutes well covered by the blankets. More. Two fairly ordinary clearances by the England players. It's Benetti. Better. 
four possibilities on for him. Benetti down the line. The tackle by Curry. The referee are judging that body contact was made first. It seemed to me to be a little bit harsh. Bobby Moore just on the penalty spot. Riva, the danger perhaps. Coming in on it now, away by McFarland. The free kick given for the shirt pull against Benetti. McFarland. Curry. Bubnic stepping in, Shannon, being forced across the line, Curry, a chance for shots, good one and good save. England being closely marked, sparring for the openings, and one came there for Curry on the right side. He saw it, went for the only possible position and produced a good save from Zoff. Zoff wearing English gloves. Peters, and the appeals for the push. Spinozzi, who was thought by England players to have done something wrong, and Clark very unhappy. That's good. Shannon. Rivera. Ginalia. Rather Calcio. Ginalia forward on it. Looking a little bit Mr. Steel Eyes at the moment. Here's Curry. Madeley to the right of Curry. Bell the other way. Four marked by four in the box. And England still looking for an opener to unseal a very tightly packed in. was a good try, Osgood's header. It's a good long ball to him. Colin Bell who made it. Dino off. he'll be 32 next February. And that's Luigi Riva, who was 29 last week. Hughes. kick given in England's favour. Spinozzi not agreeing with the referee. Oscar positioned on the far right. Curry. Soft coming to punch and punch well. It's Bell. Peters. Took too long. Osgood, Bell, oh, and driven across, and it could so easily have been turned in by Facchetti. Colin Bell shot, appearing here on the right, number four, good pace took him past two men, and just look how Facchetti might so easily have turned that in. which has brought the crowd to life. McFarland and Osgood on the far post. There's McFarland. Couldn't really get at it. Right now. Away by Benetti. McFarland now going to the far side of the area once more for the cross. Here's Moore. 
Spinozzi coming forward with pace. Now Curry. And the goalkeeper got a touch, I think. Well, Curry shot. And the referee saying that Spinozzi didn't touch it. Let's see if he's right. Curry on the turn. Well, I would have thought that Zoff got gloved fingers to that. And the final incident of the half. So Dino Zoff goes off, his record now 872 minutes without conceding a goal. That's the half-time scoreline. A lot of possession by England, but not too many chances have been created. Couple by Curry that went past, one that Fichetti might have turned into his own goal, but didn't. So as the England players go down into the dressing room, they will discuss a fairly familiar problem, how to get the ball in the net. Throughout the day, your body uses up nutrients. So that's why we took juice from a stack of tasty fruit, some extra vitamins, carefully blended them all together, and came up with Nutri Top Up. It simply tops you up with selected nutrients. So now you and your family can top up with more of the good stuff you need. Simple. Nutri Top Up from Minute Maid helps you keep healthy. Simple. Oh, what a glorious thing to be A healthy, grown-up, busy, busy bee Whiling away the passing hours Pinching all the pollen from the coffee flowers I'd like to be a busy, busy bee Being just as busy as a bee can be Flying round the garden, sweetest ever seen Taking back the honey to the dear old queen Let the power of nature into your business Simply switch to Business Easy Green Greener energy from Eon If you like, but roasting me is juggling a busy life causing you tension headaches? Take Triple Action Anodin Extra. It has a powerful combination of three ingredients. One to target the source of pain, one to help block pain, and one to speed up relief. For people who just get on with it, take Triple Action Anodin Extra. The liquid ibuprofen power of Anodin Ultra capsules relieves tough body pain fast. by choosing greener banking. No paper statements, no direct mail, just click. HSBC, the world's local bank. <laughs> An Italian flag waving in the evening rain at Wembley, and they're watching very much an Italian match exemplified by the performance of Burgnich, the sweeper in the Italian side. Probably seen more of the ball than any other. An Italian match, exemplified by the performance of Burgnich, the sweeper in the Italian side. Probably seen more of the ball than any other player. Always been in the right place at the right time. It's the problem for England to get him out of that place at the right time. England now attacking the goal to our left. Neither side has made a change. The Italians might be surprising. Burgnich once more. Emlyn Hughes, and in the area was Spinozzi and Clark.
Clark. Bell. Quite harmless in the end. Colin Bell. And the cry is Italia. Which is soon drowned by the English cheers. Maidley. Fullbacks coming up more. And conceded by Bellucci. But England have made a good start to this half. They're causing more problems by using the fullbacks more forward, making the early cross. And Zoff wasn't very well positioned then. Bellucci conceding the corner. Peters head up. But an Italian got there first, so another corner. Corner number 12. Maidley, way by Facchetti. Bell. Curry not too far away from that clear intention by England to hit this ball across the box early, either low or in the air. That one on the deck. Well played, McFarland. He took that very well indeed. It's a greater pace about England's game. Free kick against Riva. But we've had an hour of the match. So England with half an hour to make the possession tell. Curry. Peters, beaten by Capello, his Calcio. Two Juventus players doing it well together. And Clark has lost him. Kinalia going to the far post. Not a good cross, in fact. Bell. Italy with four up against four. Ginalia. Rivera. Riva on the left foot. And turned away by Shilton. But England got themselves in an even situation then. The ball finally arriving with the furthest man, Riva. And the header over the top by Ginalia. Bell. Maidley. Bell. Burgnich and then Pochetti away for Italy. Riva was offside anyway. Peters. He saw the possibility of a crack too late. It was easier to see them from up here. Casio square of Kinalia. Looking for Capello. Curry's header. Hector still having to wait. Osgood. It's short, but Bell made something of it. Mistake, really, by Bellucci. Six Italians back. Here's Hughes. Left foot shot and a good one! Oh, Hughes, why don't you do that more often? Really tremendous left foot crack by Hughes, going up and turned over by Dinozov. And chance now for the substitution to be made. 
Kevin Hector of Derby County coming on. Hector waiting to see who he's replacing. This time, Kevin Hector is getting 17 minutes to play. I would think that Alan Clark might be the man to come off. Or Shannon. Well, they're both coming over. It is Alan Clark. So Kevin Hector might so easily have scored against Poland. Gets another chance to show what he can do. Miss kick by Benetti, right foot shot by Hughes! Oh, how close can he get? He may well look to the gods, because that gentleman, if you pardon me saying so, is wearing a blue shirt at the moment. Right foot, first time, no nonsense and just wide. Lee. Peters ran for Bell. Here's Shannon. Frustrating though it may be for England, one has to admire the organization of the Italian defense. I've always said that England are the most difficult side to beat. I'm not sure that the Italians haven't taken over that title. Ball has been given. Quick word from Senor Lobo. Rivera. Hector, Spinozzi at his back, surely that's a foul. Tackled straight through Hector then, Spinozzi. Five minutes for England to break this duck. And the free kick by Kinalia. Or foul by Kinalia, free kick to England. It's a throw. Without Chivers, they haven't really got a long throw expert. Shannon. Maidley. That's awkward. Keeper did well then. Denotes off. The most expensive goalkeeper in the world. Had to turn it over. McFarland, goal kick. The cry of Italia again. They will certainly reckon that a scoreless draw is a good result. They may be out of the World Cup, but still present a great challenge to any side as far as foreigners are concerned. It's Kinalia. Rebra, that's a good shot, and a goal! Kinalia's cross and Capello has scored! He really cracked that across the box. Shilton lost it, look at the power of the low cross. Shilton lost it, and Capello wasn't quite as easy as it looked, but easy enough. Maidley, Bell. And the corner, Hector was beaten to it by Spinozzi. The corner coming as we move into what little injury and stoppage time the referee has docked off Kinalia and 
the Italians in possession as the final whistle is blown. And there's the man who gives Italy a notable victory. And Dino off. the goalkeeper, takes his record now to 917 minutes. Ten and a bit matches without conceding a goal. It's a cruel, it's a very hard lesson for England. They've been beaten by a side who perhaps had one-tenth of the possession that they themselves had. But scoring in world-class football is mighty difficult. England created chances, they didn't take them. The Italians got one, which Shilton half presented to them and scored from it.